Hey guys, so I'm back from China. I had an incredible trip. It was so nice. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy the vlogs that I filmed. But today I thought I would show you guys a little knickknacks that I got in China. A lot of you guys actually requested that I film a haul video from China. Some of you really wanted to see a beauty haul. But I didn't really get that many beauty products. I just got a little bit of everything. I'm gonna start with uh, souvenirs. So to be honest, we didn't really go specifically for shopping. We went to touristy places like Wan Fujing Street, um, Hutongs, where you can do a little bit of shopping these alleys. So I got this beautiful Chinese fan and I got it as we were walking in Hutongs in one of the souvenir shops. They had so many souvenirs and they had loads of beautiful fans. So I picked up this one um, and yeah I just think it's so beautiful it might be silk I'm not too sure but yeah it has a Chinese lady playing a uh, flute then we saw this lady selling loads of different tea teapots uh, tea containers and I just saw this color and I was like I have to have it it's so beautiful I mean look at it so basically this is how people um, keep their tea in China in these little ceramic pots China is the place for pottery they have insane like little mugs just little bowls everything is just so beautiful um, but yeah it's quite heavy to bring back home so I only got this um, loose leaf tea container and I think it's so beautiful then another <laughs> souvenir I got is this little wooden frog so you hold it by the legs and it produces this frog sound I actually got two bigger ones for my dad and my granddad and they make a better sound um, just slightly deeper more frog like this is like a little frog but I just thought they're so cute. So I got one for myself. I then got chopsticks. So when we were walking in souvenir shops, the chopsticks there were not pretty at all. Just, you know, like very basic wooden chopsticks. Not very special looking at all. So I didn't get any as we were out and about, but um, I also actually ordered these for me on Taobao. So Taobao is like, Chinese eBay. Everyone shops on there. People don't really go out shopping. They shop on Taobao because you can find literally everything and anything on there. So I got these. I'm not sure what they're made of. They're quite heavy. They have this mother of pearl um, effect here. If you guys can see. So yeah, I just thought they're really pretty. I wanted some fancy chopsticks. Okay, then we went to this beautiful, actually Jasmine, Alex's friend, took us to this beauty shop where they sell a bunch of creams, lipsticks in very traditional old Chinese packaging. So Jasmine explained that uh, the images that you see of women on the packaging is what they used to dress like or uh, basically look like before the Cultural Revolution happened in China. So the packaging is extremely beautiful. I got tons of creams in these beautiful cardboard boxes to bring back home for everyone I know. But I actually couldn't resist. I got one for myself. This one looked really special to me. So that is the box. I'm definitely keeping this box, but look, I'm gonna show you the cream itself. This one comes in a tin as well. And look at it. Isn't it just stunning? I also got myself this rollerball perfume. They had four or five different ones. I got jasmine for my grandmother and I got geranium for myself. So this is what it looks like, just a little rollerball. Smells really nice. It reminds me of something. I think it reminds me of Chanel Coco and Mademoiselle perfume. So it smells really, really good. Just a nice little thing to keep in your handbag. These were really inexpensive. This cream was, what, like two euros maybe? Uh, perfume might have been four or five, I don't know, but like really, really inexpensive. I went to Sephora and I got a few beauty bits. So I got a fresh sugar lip treatment, just their original colorless lip balm and it's absolutely incredible. I have this one in honey. Um, and I also have the caramel one in a pot, but this one is just so handy because you don't need to dip your finger in It's extremely moisturizing smells like um, Lemon tart so love 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 it. I also got 
Laneige uh, lip sleeping mask because Auxa told me to get it. She said it's really good. They have them in four, I believe, different uh, scents. It comes with a little adorable spatula. So this is what it looks like. It comes in a pot like that. I got a strawberry one. I believe it's strawberry. Um, yeah, you take this little spatula thingy. It's like gummy. Um, and then you apply a generous layer of it on your lips and go to sleep. So it's basically an overnight mask for your lips. She said it's really good if you have dry lips. So I'm gonna try it out. By the way, I know these are not Chinese at all. Um, this is Benefit Precisely My Brow Eyebrow Pencil. I got it in shade number two because I needed a new eyebrow pencil. Not a fan of the packaging at all, um, but pencil looks really nice and I need it an eyebrow pencil. So in Watson's I got this Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Lip Balm. <laughs> I'm a sucker for lip balms, can you tell? It just, yeah, I have really dry lips and I always need a lip balm. So I thought, oh well, I'm gonna give it a go. Oh, it's actually clear. It smells very <laughs> berry-like. I'll give it a go. Um, also from Watson's, I got this toothbrush. I know this is so random, but it looked really cool. I mean, look at it. It has a very thick head. It's like wide. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll try it. I got these eye drops. I actually got these for basically everyone. These eye drops are minty. You guys saw me use them in a vlog, so I'm not gonna talk about them too much, but basically they're for sore, tired, red eyes, and they feel amazing, like really refreshing and minty, and you're like wide awake after. So yeah, got these minty eye drops. Then we went to Minnesota, which is incredible um i think most of girls in china love minisa it's like a mix of tiger and muji and everything is under three euros and they have adorable things and really nice quality a lot of them actually everything is very aesthetic there and you just yeah i left with a huge shopping bag bought stuff for everyone like panda contact lenses case for linda and stuff um, for myself i only got this one from minisa and also neck pillow for the plane um, i forgot to bring it here so i'm gonna show it to you here really nice i used it already um and yeah i also got this makeup bag i liked it because it's like you know, that kind of plastic makeup bag that's really um, easy to wipe and uh, I don't know, I just love the color, this baby blue and uh, the size of it. They had it in like light green, pink. also got this bookmark from a souvenir shop. Let me open it for you guys. I also got these bookmarks for everyone. It's so pretty. Look. It has... Um, an illustration of a Chinese lady. I don't know, I really liked it. So Aux and I spotted this postcard shop. They sold loads of like stickers, uh, washi tape and postcards in there. And I didn't really need any postcards. I wasn't in a, even planning on getting any, but Aux I went crazy choosing hers. And I was like, maybe I should actually get some as well. They were so beautiful, so. Yeah, I ended up buying 10 and it was one euro for 10 postcards. So can you say no to this deal? I don't think so. I'm just gonna keep them as memory. Um, the gorgeous places in China. This is Forbidden City where we went. Look at that. The Great Wall in winter. This is a traditional Chinese alleyway. Um, Summer Palace. The Wall of China again. I mean, they're all so, so pretty. Look at this one, just a little drawing. Or the roofs of Forbidden City. Oh my God, I love them. So yeah, that's almost it, you guys. Um, I also got some sunglasses on Taobao. Um, yeah, basically wanted these for a long time. I got them in three different colors. You guys saw me wear these 
uh, in the pictures on the Great Wall of China. I love skinning glasses. I know they're definitely not everyone's cup of tea, but I think they look amazing. They're not gonna protect your eyes or, and you're not supposed to wear them like that, like proper glasses, because that looks kind of stupid. You're supposed to wear them like that, so your eyes are uncovered basically, but it's just, you know, an accessory, something for pictures and just a fun detail to add to your outfit. Then I got these purple ones and red ones. I love these red ones. Yeah, they just kind of elevate your look instantly, right? So I got those. Um, and then I also popped into Uniqlo on, I think it was my last day. Uh, I got a bunch of t-shirts and like jumpers for family and I got a few bits for myself. But I'm so disappointed. I didn't try anything on because it was um, Labor Day and it was basically extremely crowded in there, like impossibly crowdy. So I estimated that I would be size small in boobage area because I don't really have boobs. But apparently I'm probably medium because these are too small and I don't know what to do because I I love them and I'm so upset. So I got this sports bra in this kind of turquoise color. It looks really soft and really comfortable, but again, it's just too tight on me. Um, then I got this one. This is a t-shirt bra. I got one for Linda and one for myself in this peach color. Alexa said these are the most comfortable bras ever. But again, I went for small, should have gotten medium. Unfortunately, too small. I also got these little shorts. I thought these are gonna be nice for summer, for just biking to the beach, or just having a barbecue in the garden. They have pockets and this um, zip up pocket on your bum. Uh, so yeah, just casual gray shorts. Uh, and then I got these kind of uh, capris, harem type of capris for, uh, you know, for traveling, just basically very comfy um, to wear around the house as well. So I've been wearing those loads and I don't have them here to show you guys because yeah, I love them home. So that's basically everything that I got for myself in China. By the way, I forgot to mention this gum. Oh my God, I loved it so much. And if you're ever in China, do get it. You might be able to get it anywhere else in the world. You cannot get it in Lithuania though. It's Ringlace 5 uh, Strawberry Gum. And it's so insanely good. They're like little pink cushions. Oh, so yummy. Um, so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this little haul. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you very soon. Bye!